おいそこの貴様俺たちが見えているか All right. Hello, everybody. This is Kevin AG27, and welcome back to a new episode of Steins Gate Visual Novel. Um, last time we ended up with a what seemed like a murder case, and uh, when our main character, Okaberin Taro, tried to uh, message his friend, um, everybody left. Or uh, it seemed like everybody had suddenly left the area for some reason. Anyway, so I guess we. Skip to a different part. Uh, didn't take a look at the time of like you can see 7:28 um, at the top left. Uh, month seven. I don't even know what month seven is. Uh, is it like July? Uh, something like that. Anyway, so there's a date which you might want to keep track of, and I didn't realize that. Um, anyway, this might be right now. This might be right after that. I, I don't know. Anyway, so here we go. なぜ何も答えない貴様に聞いているんだぞモニターのそっち側にいる貴様にだ<笑>間抜け面をしようってつまらんやつだ貴様からだと俺たちはテレビのモニターの中にいるように見えるだろうな<笑>だがそれは大きな間違いだ Obviously. モニターの中にいるのは貴様なのだよ。貴様が現実だと思っているその世界は、実はすべて虚構。もちろん、真の現実。それはこちら側にある。自分が何を指摘されているのかすら分かっていないか。無理もない。まあいい。貴様には分かりやすく。俺たちのことについて説明してやろうではないかまず俺たちがいるのはどこかということだここは東京秋葉原にある未来ガジェット研究所だ俺たちは普段ラボと呼んでいる世界の支配構造を作り変えるという我が野望の拠点だなそう、so... Our purpose is to shatter the system. So let's take a look at the tips. The system is the means by which the organization maintains its grip on humanity. Its full scope is too vast to be comprehended, but、um, suffice to say that the system gives the organization influence over the government, religion, media, culture, and science worldwide. Most people do not know that their lives are controlled by the system. It is so deeply embedded in the fabric of society that modern civilization would not be able to function without it. Destroying the system, therefore, would plunge the world into chaos. Um, yes, surely that's, sure, surely that's true. Anyway, so nanda. What I got to stand up, man, and I o o k a n i My d e a s Cosida Matiro. What? What a great expected mud the scientist or something like that. No, Ekikara de Tara, Chuo Dorio Sumi, Suikiro Choiki no Cosa Ten or Kurama Bashi Dori Sasset. 次の信号の一歩手前の路地を入ると大日山ビルという古臭い雑居ビルがある目印はビル1階にあるブラウン缶工房というマニアックなテナントだいやそう、ちょっとこれをニューアンレッド、ヘロー、カイゲッドウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、Uh, yes, I, I don't know how this works. Um, what? I can't, I can't see the tips. That's interesting. Why is this? Hello, tips, please. Uh, scroll actually works this time using these buttons. Anyway, I can't get to the new tips for some reason. That's ridiculous. Hello, h u h interesting. Anyway, but I want you workshops below us. Ima do ki. 旧式のブラウン管テレビだけを扱っているショップだいかに電気街である秋葉原といえども需要があるとは思えないさびれた店なのだだがブラウン管工房店長である天王寺というおっさんはこのビルのオーナーでもある<笑>故に今野球ピッチで都市開発が進み
地下も高騰しているこの秋葉原であろうと道楽丸出しの店を構えていられるというわけだ幸いにもあの店長は人を見る目はあるようでなこの俺のカリスマ性を見抜きビル2階をまるまるワンフロアただ同然で貸してくれたのだふわははははだが未来ガジェット研究所は深刻な人材不足のため優秀な研究員を随時募集中だ今のところ所属研究員はオカリンオカリンそこはラボメンって言わなきゃ所属研究員じゃなくてラボメンすなわちラボラトリーメンバーは俺を含めて3人であるラボメンナンバー001ラボ創設者にして狂気のマッドサイエンティストであるこの俺法院狂魔 There it is. オカリンって呼び方の方が可愛いのにそしてコスプレが趣味の好一点ラボメンナンバー002シーナマユリ<laughs> anyway, let's see if I can see the tips again. Oh, but why wasn't the other, the other tip was just unavailable, I guess. An abbreviation of costume play, uh, cosplay. Oh, this is like the, the kind of type it is. So this is an otaku term, cosplay. Um, to dress up in a costume, most often as a fictional character. People cosplay are called cosplayers, which can be shortened to layers. Many cosplayers make their own costumes. Um... Yeah, so where, where was, where was brown something that just wasn't there? I guess, whatever. Let's keep going. Yes. <laughs> so, now I was in the course and started to be like a jet to can you know, cuts down on you are so no more than body hot to me. They are so let's take a look at super haka, a tremendously skilled hacker, at least someone who claims one to be. Um, the threat, my friend's a hacker, so uh, he can easily find out who you are. Often appears during arguments on the internet, people mockingly call the obviously non existent hacker a haka. Haka, I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. Show say what? Waga Rabo no home page on me to create. Home page. Motiron. Yamino she high can look to Tataka Tamino Mirai Gajet to Gasai you send Jiko Daga. Sono can you cut a hussy sort of some but sticking a hot me more? Oh, yeah. Do you ca? Yamano to Krava Sochi Bakarida. Sudeni, whatever. Yats no Mirai Gajet to Kansas Sasata. Daga. これはまだ上昇でしかない。未来ガジェットのアイディアは、俺の中に108まであるのだ。Why specifically that? 某テニス漫画みたいにですね。わかりますか。Oh, it's a reference. I don't, I don't get it. 人の煩悩の数といえ、このアットチャンネルのめ。アットチャンネル。At channel. Number of、uh, earthly desires and mortals. Okay. So, at channel. It's a fictional thing on the internet. Japan's most popular message board covers a wide variety of topics from hacking to cooking to anime to current events. So it's、uh, it's an online forum, which is probably like 2chan. Probably.、Uh, reference to that, very likely. So, I'm going to talk to you about the fact that I'm going to talk to you about the fact that I'm going to talk to you about the fact that I'm going to talk to you about. あ。It's an unwritten rule to say this whenever you see an image of someone or something looking towards the camera. Kochimina. Don't, don't look at me. Kochimina. Something. Sure. I don't know. Maybe a Japanese internet reference. It's very likely a Japanese internet reference that doesn't really happen 
you don't say it's I don't know. This is probably full of Japanese references that I don't get. Or that's in your Hanash Kakarate, you look at any Sura Kizuite in Irashina. Jikaku and I to you know, Jitsuni Fukuna Kotoda. Oh, wow. So no stony stemitara, Mayushi that you got game of it any meter no cana. So it's in your gain jits nanoka game of no cut to you, has so say nine jani. Jo. バルコの大好きな二次元の女の子たちってどうなの？それは別。あの子たちは僕の嫁だから。やるの嫁の話はどうでもいい。Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So as you can tell, this hacker is super haka. Uh, it's an otaku, a 2D girl. Who, who would have known? A female character in an anime game or manga? Yeah, who would have known? でもさ、マユシの言ったことって興味深いテーマじゃん。もし仮に僕たちがゲームの中の住人だとしたらそれを見極めるすべはあると思う wow. That is too real, I mean ないな即答かよゆえにそのような議論は不毛世界の支配構造を打ち砕く方法について考える方がよほど有意義だ <笑> Nobody tell them 中二病、オツオツ <笑> So like really short for what's kind of kind of song, right? I stepped back from the monitor. What were you looking at? Or right, me? Like I am supposed to play the main character, however. I guess. Shunibyo. So that's uh, literally eighth grade syndrome, a term referring to a mindset exhibited prim primarily by teenage males. Uh, also used by derogatory. Also uses the der derogatory term to refer to older people who still exhibit this mindset, characterized by an affected. Attitude of nihilism or cynicism, extreme self centeredness, illusions of power and support, superiority, and a consuming fear of being treated as a child. Uh, the person exhibiting these symptoms believes that they are cool, but most observers find them pathetic. <laughs> Chunibyo is uh, often abbreviated to Chuni, which refers to the fictional tropes that teenage males often enjoy, such as ancient conspiracy superpowers. Especially power to them when characters eye or arm. Hmm, where have I seen that before? Maybe an anime called Chunibyo Demokoyashita. Um, Norse mythology, battles for the fate of the universe, etc. The consummate. Consummate? I don't know how I'm supposed to pronounce it. I've never seen this word. The consummate Chunibyo case will work such elements into his own personal backstory. Or can you use a textbook example? Alright. Ho ho in Um, I didn't mean to close the game. I meant to just close the menu. Okay. Ho ho in kyo, Mayumi. I step back from the monitor. <laughs> Display on the screen is an ugly, cute character of Pokemon. That looks ridiculous. That's not even cute, that's just ugly. Anyway, we have another tip. Jeez. Alpaca, mammal related to the camel average weight, but, but do I really need to care about this? Unlike camels, alpacas do not have lumps, their bodies are covered in fluffy fur. F fluffy fur. I can't read. Fluffy fur. Due to their strangely long necks and charming faces, they have. They have some popularity as ugly yet cute, ugly cute animal. Uh, anyway. Anyway, let's get, let's get back into this. It's a game called Apakaman 2, where you speak to Apakaman via microphone and watch him react. The game exploded in popularity when it was released 10 years ago, but personally, I find only the ugly part of ugly cute to be true. Hey, that's exactly what I said! <laughs> I mean, I am the main character, so I'm... Um... I'm ho ho and kill. I bought it yesterday. 500 yen used. Headset included. Daru. I turned to Daru with a menacing glare. Damare super haka. Ore wa chuni byo de wa noi. No. I sweep my hair back and flash a devilish grin. Oi. Kyo ma da. So you said this show. やれやれ。誰の人とのコミュニケーションの取れなさ。どれだけ経っても治らないな。アニメのオフ会じゃ僕がいつも場を盛り上げてるっつうの。Offline meets. I I I'm gonna read every single tip when members of an inner community meet in real life. Oh, who would know? Anyway, uh This fat Oh my, this fat bespectate bespectacled guy. Oh, like Oh my, I've never heard that word, but I assume it means to wear glasses, but to be bespectacled? I don't even know. Anyway, this fat bespectacled, bespectacled guy is my brother in arms and right hand man. Uh, 
Nickname Daru. No, wrong button. He's hardcore otaku. You can always find him in front of the computer, playing games and watching anime. Uh, well, no, an otaku is a term for the obsessive interest in a particular topic. However, keep this in mind. This is used incorrectly on the internet. Usually, I mean, whatever. I know otaku just means to be obsessed in some topic, not necessarily anime. Hobbyists most often refers most often refers to fans of anime, manga, video games, but there are also train otaku, military otaku, electronics otaku, etc., etc. It's a generic word. For, it's a generic term. He has two D wife on whom he cheats a three D maids. I don't agree with the preferences, but Jim, anything's fine as long as it's moi. He's a reliable and skilled partner who brings my ideas to fruition. Despite his ins insistence that software is his forte, he shows remarkable aptitude with hardware as well. Ah. No, don't do that. No, over here, nursing a pricked finger. I'm Sheena Mayuri, a 16-year-old high school student. If you can believe it, uh, I know her since we were both small. She's also an otaku. No one near daughter's level, though. This ditzy girl is in charge of the lab's official costume division for women, and today she's working on costumes uh, at her usual leisurely pace. Why does the future gadget laboratory need costumes for women? It doesn't. It doesn't. I guess the truth is that my idea is completely useless. Oh, still, there's no way I could ever kick her out. After all, she's the first one to join the future gadget laboratory. I still remember the day Mayuri first came to the lab. It was spring. She said to me. Oh, flashback. Okay, you're my hostage. Wait. Well, that certainly was cryptic, but her offer was my salvation. For she was the first to join me on my magnificent quest. She saved me from a solitary life in, on the run from the organization. I will never forget her kindness. Mayuri doesn't have to be useful. Her being here is enough. Yeah, then The human face still back inside the monitor was completely un unresponsive. So unresponsive you'd think the game was bugged. Whatever, I gave up. Never again will I play this boring game. I cursed his name and smacked the TV. As soon as I do, hmm? TV makes a sound like it's shorted. The screen goes blank. I changed the channel, nothing. Check the power cable. Nothing. Mark it again. Nothing. Oh, that always works, though. Well, rip. And it's really broken. Then <laughs> I guess it's broken. Damn. This crummy TV is on the lease from the brown tube workshop downstairs. It's probably just old. I mean, it's old CRT TV. Oh, rip. Turn off the TV and lie down on the couch. Fed up with the humidity of Japanese summers, I started a conspicuous stain on the ceiling while fanning myself. Close my eyes. What naturally comes to mind is that impossible scene I saw an hour ago. Ah, here we go back. So, like, this was indeed <laughs> in the same day. Everyone's gone. So, I left Daddy Khan. Everyone vanished before my eyes. I can't explain it. And it wasn't just the people on the street. The people in the stores, gone! In the restaurants, gone! Even the cars vanished, drivers and all. It, was all. it all happened in the blink of an eye. Suddenly, an empty city spread before me. I could still hear the music from the stores, but the sketchy melodies were the only sounds of life remaining. Heat was rising from the asphalt in waves, but I, only, uh, I felt only a cold chill down my spine. I just stood there, breathless, until... Mayuri's voice brought me back to reality. I already hadn't disappeared. She was right there looking at me with questioning eyes. <laughs> Panic took hold as the enormity of what just happened struck me. Unable to control myself, I grabbed Mayuri by her slender shoulders and took her. Shook her, sorry. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> my head flopped back and forth from my shaking. Anyway, 
ね<笑>見てない<笑> I stopped shaking and looked straight into her eyes She returned my gaze with eyes clear as glass marvels 見ていない見ていないのかだってついさっきまでここにはたくさんの人たちが歩いていたんだぞ歩いてたかなそれに定員まで消えているこんなことはいくらなんでもありえないそれは仕方ないと思うよ。Her reply didn't make any sense. とにかくね、最初からこの辺には誰もいなかったよ。あ,あ、あそっか、オカリンは幻を見てたんだね。きっとこの暑さのせいだよ。トゥッテルー。Yeah,、uh, no. How could you laugh at a time like this? I always thought she was a bit strange, but maybe her brain is actually broken. I realized that she couldn't help me. With nowhere else to turn, I looked up at the bright blue sky. There wasn't a cloud in sight. The scorching summer sun shone bright through the gaps between Akiba's buildings. Naturally, my eyes drifted to the top floor of Dadikon, where I had just been a moment ago. A moment before. Uh. Yeah, that wasn't there before, was it? There was an enormous machine, like some kind of satellite embedded in the roof. Of the building where not, a f not five minutes before I had found Maxi Kurisa's body in a, blood, a pool of blood. What happened to her? Just before everyone disappeared, could have sworn I heard an ambulance siren. Maxi Kurisa might still be in that dark, narrow passageway, cold, bloody, and alone. The thought disturbed me, and the question at the forefront of my mind was So, no, so, no, 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 Right before Dr. Nakabachi's speech presenta or presentation, the building shook like a bomb had exploded. The roof door lock had been broken, and beyond it was someone who placed a satellite like machine shrouded in smoke and glowing dust. When I first saw it, the satellite was on the rooftop, but that's not what I was seeing now. The satellite had penetrated the floor of the building, obliterating the room where Dr. Dr. Nakabachi's press conference had been held. It must have fallen out of orbit without burning up in the atmosphere somehow. I knew it was crazy, but what other explanation could there be? The real question was when did that happen? I heard a motorcycle. Hearing lots of motorcycles outside. That's good. Kaplow sound. Huge kaplow. Her eyebrows are fantastic, by the way. It certainly did make a sound. But I don't think it was kaplow. I'd say it was more like zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
There was just nothing we could do, so we headed back to the lab. And that brings us to the present. I'm baffled. Did the whole hour since the beginning of Nakabashi's presentation really happen? I checked online for any news. Now it's buzzing about the mysterious machine that crashed into that become. All of the major stations in Tokyo, even TOTV, or TOTV, Tokyo TV, are running special bulletins about it. So, TOTV. Wow, why is TOTV? Um, fictional television uh, network based in Tokyo. TOTV adds more animate than other commercial networks. Uh, making it a favorite among otaku. When a major news story breaks, most stations interrupt a regular, regular programming to deliver a special bulletin. TOTV is the exception, which has given rise to the joke. If TOTV cuts to a special bulletin, the apocalypse is nigh. Anyway, uh, even TOTV, which means the apocalypse is nigh. Fortunately, it doesn't look like anyone's hurt, but Chiodori was still closed off. My capital station is jammed with reporters and curious onlookers. Nobody's mentioned anything about the disappearance of thousands of people from Akihabara streets, nor about Maxikudis' murder. It's all a mystery. A mystery? So so you got a from the sofa, I spring up to my feet, a wide grin on my face. That of my return and stare, it's the organization. <laughs> Having some come to satisfactory conclusion, I take a celebratory bottle of Dr. P, my favorite soda from the fridge. Hmm, wonder what that's referencing. Hmm, labs and air conditioning. High school drinks are essential. ノロードの後のドクターペッパーはこれ。ああ、これ。ああ、これ。ああ、これ。ああ、これ。ああ、これ。ああ、これ。ああ、これ。ああ、これ。ああ、これ。ああ、これ。ああ、これ。ああ、
This is a special frequency known as ISM band, which is also used by wireless LAN devices. Consumer grade output is around 500 to 1000 watts, and commercial grade output is about 15,000 to 2000 watts. So that's that, I guess, background information on this. The LAN wireless LAN thing is interesting. Perfecting gadget number four, uh, eight. This is number eight. It actually said that on the top. Went to high school together and now we're going to the same university. We share an inseparable bond like prison cellmates. He's only been a lab member for two months though. それほどの付き合いの長さなのだからいい加減俺の会話についてこられるようになってくれ それは無理 Nope Awkward <laughs> <laughs> silence Man, all I want to do is have one of those cool cryptic conversations where we talk about plans and preparations and other important sounding stuff but no one really knows what it means except us Shut down again それで8号機の不調の原因究明は進んだか? Mirai Gadgetto. Oh, this is the actual webpage. Okay, okay. FutureGadget-Lab.com. Now, is that really real? I'm actually gonna have a look at this. That might actually. I don't, I don't know. I, I wonder if this is real. Somebody must have. Somebody must have purchased this, right? Uh. Uh. Oh my God! It might actually be real. Anyway, so far the Future Gadget Laboratory is completed. It totals eight inventions. As I explained to Apocalypse Man, the last primary goal is to develop weapons for the war against the Dark Dominion, led by an organization that rules the world from the shadows. It doesn't look like there's a website, actually. Never mind. It seems to not work, so there may not be a website here. So, rip someone. Nobody. No. Uh, you would think they would just purchase this website, but I guess this isn't a thing. Um. Anyway. It looks like a website from like 19. 19, uh, 1990 or something. I don't know. Um, at present, we haven't completed any inventions of that of that sort. Oh, it, no! It's actually it is actually real. Never mind. It just took it's it's taking forever for my phone to load. Um, oh wait, there's a .us version actually. All right, that works. So apparently, the the Japanese .com version doesn't really seem to work. Um, but yeah, it's actually. It's actually basically this. It is actually this. So, yeah. <laughs> Somebody made that. And then maybe the. I don't know if the, the US version is like official, but there is a Japanese website like you're seeing right there. However, it doesn't load on my phone because probably the website being too far away and so the server being too, too far away and too slow. I don't know. Anyway. You can Google it yourself. <laughs> We've managed to create some ingenious future gadgets as a byproduct of our research. It is fundamental truth of science that great inventions are often created by accident. In other words, serendipity. So, serendipity to build you discover something valuable and looking for something else. The microphone was born through serendipity. I believe that was actually because somebody felt like chocolate melt in their pocket or something, like a bar of chocolate melt, and they were like, how could this bar of chocolate suddenly melt? Turns out there were like microwaves and that melted chocolate. I, that, don't quote me on this, but I thought I remembered that's how microwaves were dis or dis That's how it was discovered that microwaves are able to heat up food. Anyway, and now we should introduce our glorious future gadgets. Gadget number one, the bit particle gun. Gadget number two, the bamboo helicam. Gadget number three, could this be Ora Ora? What? Gadget number four, mode snake. And gadget number five, once again, I made worse object by Goemon. Gadget number six, the Shalom Saber. Gadget number seven. Ghost in the Ball. Ghost in the Ghost in the Ball. I wonder if it's Ghost in the Shell reference. I don't know. They can all be seen on the website that I made. So feast your eyes upon the product of a mad scientist genius. That might actually I might be able to look that up on the internet. Like I, like I said. Um. Um. Let's see. So what do we got? Bit part of a gun for gadget number one. It's a very first shoot you get it. Tie ray gun with TV remote gen inside. You can change channels by pointing at the TV implement trigger. However, the only button supported is Channel Plus, no other buttons like volume are usable to turn a TV on. You must manually flip the switch on a TV. 
This is a reference to the Japanese robot anime, a mobile jacket, gun, gun bam. Really? Isn't that supposed to be gun dumb? I don't know. Anyway, um, future gadget number two, the bamboo helicam. CCD camera mounted to a bamboo toy helicopter. The camera is attached to the helicopter's fulcrum, allowing it to record aerial footage unpowered. However, the image is rotating at high speed, so you might get dizzy if you look at it. Name originates from the sci-fi manga 22 ML, which I don't know what that is. Oh, I see. They're like, they're like, okay, I see. They're like, they're like, uh, fake jet. It's like, it's like anime names, but not really real. Like, it's, it's something has changed. Like, like, what are could this be Aurora? A lie detector based on thumb per perspiration. Uh, though it might be more appropriate to call it sweat detector. You may have to admit it's a pretty clever invention. Its name is a reference to the classic manga Julu's, Juju's Bizarre Adventure. Like, you, you, you know what that means. And this is this is, was indeed Gundam, I guess. Mobile, the mobile suit. Mobile jacket Gundam, I see. And I don't know what 22 emo. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Um... Future Gadget number four, an instant super humidifier. Uses electric heating coils to quickly boil a large volume of water. This generates enough steam to fill a room 12 square meters, though it can only be operated continuously for a few seconds. Looks like a Claymore landmine, which appeals to military talk. Its name is a reference to the stealth action game. Metal Moa Solid Rising. Metal Gear Solid. I, I, I get it. I get it. Uh, future Gadget number five. Um, created by combining a dryer and a vacuum. The dryer is operated using the exhaust of the vacuum. Its name is a reference to the popular anime Lupins the Third. Shalom Saber. Future Gear number six, a red chemical glow stick with a handle attached, allowing one to grip it like a sword. Made possible with not just the Future Gear of Forging Hardware, but also with chemical knowledge. Inspired by Spark Wars, a series of epic sci fi movies. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Ghost in the Ball, which. See, it was a reference to Ghost in the Shell, a uh, gadget created by arranging 12 6-inch CRT monitors into a sphere. Small CMOS cameras are installed in the gaps between the monitors. Each connects into the monitor with the opposite side of the sphere. This attempts at a practical, practical optical camouflage is the greatest masterpiece in one of completed future gadgets. Its sheer size makes it difficult to store. So it's like a... Oh my, that's weird. So you have a camera, camera on one side, and the screen the other side and you just you have that like all around yeah that works <laughs> anyway name is derived from the sci-fi manga ghost in the husk which wasn't has an anime adaptation and now has a real life re yeah adaptation i guess uh, live action adaptation anyway anyway our current problem is future gadget number eight the phone wave name subjects to change phone wave is a pretty weak name so i added <laughs> subject to change to the end, uh, until they've come up with something better. For the record, it's Mayuri's idea, not mine. When our future character is completed, the three of us discuss what to name it. Prefer names based on mythology, or names with hidden meanings that need extra explanation to understand. The other thinks my name sounds too ridiculous, he just doesn't have any passion for words like I do. Mayuri can't be bothered to remember difficult names, she says she don't, they don't fit in her head. And so our opinions on gadget names are always split. But I, did, like, I, do, I digress. The phone wave, name subject to change, is in short, a remote controlled microwave. You put food in the microwave before you leave, then on your way back, you call the attached cell phone to start heating process. Voila, food ready on your arrival. So basically, it's a piece of junk. A few days ago, however, we discovered that the phone wave, name subject to change, has a second unintended capability. Our braver possibly just did see Maddie, made it her daily routine to heat some frozen fried chicken by remote control. Long story short, she was de defrosting her beloved juicy chicken number one, as usual, when the unexpected happened. The chicken came out more frozen than when she'd put it in the microwave. The microwave refroze the chicken. Since then, Daru and I have been searching for the cause. Mayushi Sadu, now looking completely fed up with the heat, starts fanning himself with his shirt. I know what he means by really weird. Let's see if we can't make it happen again. Mayuri! Mayuri! Here's a banana! Say that again. Uh, it's all bananas. I was worried about it, Mayushi. You don't want to get rid of it? That's right. 
pay. Take the banana somewhere you stick and unstick the whole bunch and the phone wave needs such a to change. なんでいつもいつも人様のことを入れるの? I already put the whole bunch in, so I ignore her on complaints. The phone wave, new switcher to change, is simple to use. It's a microwave with the phone taped on. The number is already in my address book, I just need to call the phone wave. Now, where'd I put my phone? Check my pants and coat pockets. It must be in the mi on the microwave. Where'd I put my phone? Check my pants and coat pockets. Now, where'd I put my phone? Check my... Uh, excuse me? What? Why did it just do... Th I'm con I'm confused. Let's press phone. Let's press the phone triggers button and call the cell phone and make a call to the phone wave and it's subject to change. It allows us to confirm the control settings from config. Alright, so I downloaded uh, what appears to be a, a patch for the Steam version of the uh, Steinscape visual novel, which, which gives you higher quality um, character images so that's very nice because if you remember from seeing it it looked very like i don't know pixelated but here we go now you see higher quality res images i believe i swear it's it was very pixelated uh before so now i've actually got high high res images um however i don't think i fixed the issue with the press phone button to uh to call or whatever now where'd i put my phone i checked my pants and coat pockets now where'd i put my phone now the idea is i believe to i think i need to actually plug in like my uh xbox controller it's trying to like these games i guess are meant to be played using a gamepad so i have to actually plug in my xbox controller so i guess we will be i'll be right back with you once i have actually uh set up my controller here so it's telling me that it should just work it, I, it, it worked when I set the button in the settings menu, but it's not doing anything at all right now. Oh, I, I pull it up when oh, I, you know, I thought you could pull it up on that in the little in the little thing that says pull up your phone. Anyway, so here's my phone, I guess. So actually, oh, we have to call ourselves. All right, we have to manually call here. Um, we can't go to E, I guess internet just doesn't work. So, uh, address book, phone wave, call. Oh, we can do this ourselves, that's interesting. Also, as you can tell, like, the, the, the text font has changed, which I think is really good, because I, uh, oh, I hated that, the original font. Anyway, I'm connected. The voice of Mayashi guidance, the system data program to operate the phone wave. マヨシーの声聞こえてきた。少し黙れ。マヨシー外ダンスが聞こえなくなる。こちらからタイマー操作ができます。シャープボタンを押した後、温めたい秒数をプッシュしてください。例えば、1分ならシャープ60。2分ならシャープ120です Entering the command properly will cause the phone wave Name so to change the function like, a, function like a normal microwave Instead we're going to deliberately mess up and enter 120 uh, Hashtag <laughs> Oh I have to do it ourselves What if I don't? What if I don't? What if I don't? Mm. Alright, one, two uh, zero. Hashtag. That should do it. This method was originally a simple mistake on my idea's part. But someone starts the freezing process. Phone wave name so to change comes to life. The turn tail begins to rotate. Backwards spinning. Never noticed that. 
両親の振る舞いにも影響してくる問題であり、フントの規則を導入して。フント rule。The rule governing the placement of an atom's electrons. Orbitals of the same energy are each filled with one electron of the same spin, therefore. Before any are filled with any second, uh, with, with the second. Oh gosh, sorry. The orbitals of the same energy are filled with one electron of the same spin before any uh, are filled with a second. Uh, also known as Hundi's rule of maximum multiplicity. Anyway, let's get back. Arua, neyo. Nai ka. Nai ne. So ka. Three of us wait and stare at the spinning bananas. After another 20 seconds pass, the microwave chimes. Marty takes the bananas out. Get a banana de kiagari! The bananas have become. not bananas. Gelatinous, gelatinous blobs coated with a thin membrane. After Marty discovered the phone wave, the name subject to change, had a freezing function. We attempted to freeze a bunch of bananas. This is what happened. It gets more confusing each time. Dario, この banana 食べてみようとは思わないか思うはずだ。我らの2年達成の犠牲となり散ったダルに、敬礼 !Yes, <laughs> no. すげえまずそうじゃん。<laughs> 味は関係ない。食べることに意味があるのだ。さあ、Dario, 遠慮することはない。おねは拾ってやるから思い切ってずずいと行くがいいいらねえ<笑>ではねえお,お前にその名誉を譲ろうなんかねえゲルバナは中身がデロデロでブニュブニュだったよ<笑> She really actually tried one? 味もしないし全然美味しくなかった<笑>デロデロでブニュブニュか誰よどう思うブニュブニュバナナかブニュブニュのバナナマユシあなたのバナナブニュブニュだねって言ってみて<笑>ダルくんダルくん鼻血出てるガッいいから言ってみてくださいお願いしますあなたのバナナブニュブ<笑>言わせるな手のガク <laughs> oh my god, Dado. <laughs> Dado chased after hitting with a tissue box. <laughs> Maya looks at this with an innocent smile. She doesn't get it, obviously. Anyway. Gale Jones になったということは反抗系。すなわち、分子同士の結びつきが弱くなっている可能性が。What could have partially liquefied the bananas? So, ka. Wakapta do. The organization.、Um, turn to the whiteboard and write freezing in the middle. I cross it out, slap the board with my hand. What is it? I bold statement, if I do say so myself. And why is,、uh, so why isn't anyone surprised? The reactions are pathetically weak. Marty probably didn't even understand half of what I said. Oh. Oh, no, 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 じゃあどういうことそれがわかんないから悩んでるんだおうん。Right, honest, hmm. case, to to Now, うん。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。Skyscraper with offices and the Commerce Center. And it opened alongside UPX in 2003. Connected、okay, so、to UPX by overpass. So, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys didn't mind the、uh, technical difficulties. Turns out you need like a gamepad for this. Maybe this patch actually、uh, made it so I can use some kind of button press, but I, I guess maybe I should have read the, the page a bit more.、Uh, a bit more, well, 
yeah, should have read the, <laughs> the actual page a bit more. Anyway, um, I do like this font a lot more, and no more low quality character images, which is nice. Um, so yeah, uh, we might even have higher quality, uh, what do I call it, higher quality video files? Because the, the, the opening that you didn't see yesterday, but there was like a, let's see, an opening, no not close to my entire screen. So the opening I saw yesterday, the quality wasn't that great, so, I don't know. That might be because it's like re re uh, rendered for like with the, the English text. So if I I believe what I read, if I set the game to Japanese in Steam, then I can watch it in higher quality because the re renderings are like in English and it's like has lost a lot of quality. I believe that might be what's happening. Actually, that might might not be what's happening. I don't know. Um, can we like watch watch those videos here somewhere? Probably not, huh? Um, wait, there's- the phone trigger buttons are actually a thing! What? I thought they meant, uh, because it said open it in the config menu, which the config menu only had the pad. We can use Z and C to f trigger the f bloody phone, I don't even need this. Uh, I can really do that using Z and C? Are you serious? Never even bothered to look at the help menu. Was that really there? I swear to god, I haven't seen this. Anyways, there's a page two, I guess, for, uh, controllers. So, let's see if I can, could have actually done that. <laughs> I probably could have just done that, huh? Z or X or... Z or C. Oh, I could have just done I could have just done that. I could have just done that. I don't even know. I guess that's a thing. Um, can I call someone else? I, I can't. Oh, I can't. Oh, that's lame. Anyway, so that's going to be it for now. I guess we won't be using the... <laughs> gamepad anymore um yeah so that was all for nothing anyway hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next video